Hi, my name is Kevin Normando. I'm the publisher of Microgrid Knowledge, and I'm here with Ali Schwartner. She is the leader for sustainability and energy at Rockwell Automation. Hello, Ali. Hey, Kevin, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. Appreciate you being here with us. It's really exciting to get to talk to someone, uh, you know, at an organization as uh, large and, and as Rockwell Automation, uh, one of the leaders in um, automation and controls. Um, but let's start at the very beginning, Ali. Tell us a little bit, who is Rockwell Automation and who do you guys help? So Rockwell Automation, we're the world's largest company solely dedicated to industrial automation and control. Um, we serve primarily the manufacturing industry. Um, you'll find us in the food and beverage, like sciences, um, but we also serve government, um, municipalities, universities, um, you, you name it. So we're, we're primarily focused on the industrial automation and control, which involves network security, information software, analytics, optimization, um, very inclusive. Awesome, yeah, well, uh, so I, I gotta ask you, you know, tell us a little bit, why is Rockwell Automation interested in the microgrid industry? Uh, Rockwell has been involved actively in the microgrid industry, you could say for you know, over 30 years. If we look at what we've been doing, what backup gen sets, um, diesel generators at our industrial customers. The reason why we're interested in it is because energy, electricity, how we power these facilities, the lifeline of, of them, right? Nothing can operate without it. Um, and there's, there can also be a high cost to anything that, anything from the outage standpoint, just as it is with what's needed with resilience with the hospitals and, and universities. Um, our, our manufacturing footprint is dependent on the input in reliable energy sources. Most of the time, um, you, might not, you might not think of Rockwell at the top of your mind when it comes to microgrids, but majority of the time we're coming in, our controls are coming in on the assets, whether it's the boilers, the chillers, the, the solar uh, balance of plant, wind turbines, there's some piece of Rockwell coming in and it's exciting um, to be actively out here talking about it more. Absolutely. It, it does make a lot of sense, right? Because when you think about microgrids and their role, you know, they're really about optimizing different gen sets and, you know, customizing it to the different, um, um, you know, facilities. And then I think just as equally important is making sure that there's reliable energy. And, um, you know, we all know when you, when you automate a big industrial plant, uh, they're not really designed to just automatically shut off quickly. So uh, uh, it, it seems like it's a natural, uh, natural connection. Um, so I know Rockwell Automation just had their own virtual event. I think it was called the Automation Fair. Uh, perhaps there was something that you guys announced or uh, did uh, at, at the conference that you'd like to share with the micro knowledge community? Yeah, so two things. One, I would highly recommend checking out, uh, it's called Automation, Automation Fair at Home. Um, if you Google it, all of the sessions are on demand and it's free. So open and incredible amounts of content. You'll hear about different acquisitions we've made, um, things we're doing with edge computing, network infrastructure. But the other piece of information I'm really excited about is we just committed, Rockwell Automation just committed to being carbon neutral, scope one and two across our manufacturing facilities by 2030. Okay. Yeah, so this is a big step for us um, as, as a company. So I'm looking forward to how we're going to achieve that goal and how we can demonstrate our technology is used to have 100% reliable, renewable, clean energy. Well, you know, um, I guess if you can do it for an organization as large as Rockwell Automation and your global footprint, you'd certainly be in a great position to help other organizations uh, uh, do that as well. So thank you very much for making time to uh, speak with us today. And um, I look forward to the opportunity of speaking with you again. Thank you. Talk soon.